when he came to New York, he wasn't one of these guys that had that dirty word potential. It's a dirty, dirty word. It means you're not there, bro. Like when he walked into a room, I remember I was thinking, okay, here he is. There's only one wolf. It ain't me anymore. I remember the first time I watched him do a set in that club, and it was just, you know, kind of when you see somebody and you're like, oh my God, this is amazing. I can't believe this is somebody I haven't seen before. He was doing material about being a black man, and, you know, if a, like, he, he would never litter. That was it. <laughs> like, I don't litter. I don't throw garbage in the street. Not because I care about the earth, but I'm, I'm afraid that I'm gonna be walking through the park drinking a soda or something when I'm done. I just throw it over my shoulder. It'll fly over a bush and roll down a hill and land on some dead white woman's head with my fingerprints on the fucking can. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm the Pepsi Cola rapist because I'm, cause I'm lazy. <laughs> I've never seen him with a piece of paper. I never see him wrote a joke down. I never heard him go, Yo, well, you think this is funny? He would do everything in the form of philosophy. He would just be like, yo, Bobby, you see this, this, this chick? She was, you know, fucking a, a dog. I'm like, what? He'd be like, yeah. And all of a sudden, he'd be talking about it. Like, yeah, but if you came in, <laughs> I know, but let one second. If you came in, just hear me out. If you came in, and for one second you got a little heartbeat in your dick, does that, does that make you fuck? Then he'd go on stage that night and bring all these conversations he had about this subject, whatever the fuck it was, he would bring it up on stage and kind of do that on stage. You can kind of hear that in his comedy. I'm a dictator, a, a, a commentator. I'm so absorbed when I'm up there. I'm having, it's really, it's like you are doing what I want you to do. Like, even when people come in the audience and they get mad, I'm like, do you want me to, what you want me to do? Did you want me to, like, send you an email early to let you know what I want to talk about? I always see how fast I can piss off a crowd and see if I can bring them back. <laughs> it may not happen, because it's not a lot of y'all, because, it, and it's not good. Yeah, you know. Well, let's continue to talk to you then. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of making people laugh every five fucking seconds. Like, like I'm not even, I don't even really see myself as an entertainer. Like, I realize I don't really like entertaining people. Like, I realize I don't, I'm not gonna try to do everything I can so you can have a good time. Like, I think a juggler is an entertainer because he just does what he does, you know, a magician. But, like, I don't think a good comedian entertains anybody. Look at her serious face over there. Not you. This fucking lady with the, um, oh, what? Oh, you got really mad. Go ahead. Like, you know, I, you know, sometimes I like running people out my show. Get out. Go. All right, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> she leave. Then you gave it to her. <laughs> Stand-up is really about dissecting humanness, you know, the flaws of being human. And as I watched Patrice, it was a very honest take on sort of the this, this destructive human being that's on stage. And for me, that was interesting to watch. <laughs> 